Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at setting up Dirt Rally 2 with the trusty Fanatec CSW 2.5. Now these settings are predominantly based on the Fanatec recommendations, unlike some of my other settings. So these might be already something that you're using, but at least if you're not, uh, I can give you some idea, some pointers on how to set up Fanalab and Dirt Rally to get the best out of the game. So here we go. So first of all, we open up Fanalab and see I've got the WRC wheel installed. We go to Game Profile, we click on Dirt Rally 2 and then we select the recommended profile and make sure that's the default. So you see I've got a, a profile I was experimenting with, it wasn't very good, and I made sure that the other one was the default. So just to show that I deselect here and um, make sure it's selected. So when it's gold like that, that's ready to go. And that's all that there is to it in Fan Lab. So we're going to move straight on to setting up the wheel in game. So here we are in Dirt Rally 2. And we want to go to Options and Extras. And then Input. From there, select your steering wheel. For me, that's the Fanatec Club Sport. And from there, we can edit the device mapping so we can set our input bindings as we wish buttons and the like then under advanced settings i leave pretty much everything as default except at the bottom we make sure that we have soft lock enabled so just scroll down to the bottom so you have a look at soft lock make that like that enabled then we can go to vibration and feedback And then for this, we have obviously vibration on, south lining torque 65, wheel friction 15, tire friction 30, suspension 65, collision 45, soft lock 45. We make sure that force um, steering sensor is on and we make that steering force 50. Uh, I will add the settings to the description so you can just copy them or, without having to look through the video or pause in the video. So you notice there's no calibration option, although it says calibration required here. So for this, actually, what we need to do is to back out of the, the menu. So we go back to our input devices. And then from here, we have device options. We click on device options and we want to calibrate device. So you just follow the instructions here. So you do full lock in whichever direction you wish. And then hold it there and press continue. Then you do 90 degrees and continue again. And then if you've got pedals attached to your wheel, you may have to do those too. I only have the clutch, so I'll quickly do the clutch and then uh, we can move on. So that's it. Calibration complete. You can test out your calibration from here. So you can see just doing some steering movements and we'll probably do some clutch movement as well just to verify that's all set up. Like I said, I use separate pedals so they're not on here. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to go. So if you don't do calibration, you may have seen on some of my previous videos quite a lot of steering movement. Uh, in relation to what the game was doing and that was because I hadn't calibrated the device beforehand so I was having to do a lot more steering than was necessary to um, to actually turn in and that made me pretty damn slow so yeah, make sure you calibrate the wheel 
three and that's it. So hopefully that's given you some idea of how to set up Dirt Rally 2 to get the optimal experience for you and your devices. And remember, uh, the wheel is your only real interface to the game. So you want to try and get the settings as close to perfect as you can for you. And if you need to vary those slightly, then please do. If you liked this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And of course, hit the thumbs up for this particular content. Thanks again, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Into two right Titans. Thirty. Cut three left long Titans. Into happy left unseen. Keep left of a thirty. Caution, don't cut four.